All right, hi everybody, it's me, Bonkai922, Kami Chapter, Kamigaku Chapter 55, I believe this was called, specifically, Kill the Top Two, now, obviously they're talking about Esdith and Budo, now, Supposedly, they also, also as you know, in the beginning of this chapter, color page, um, they've been they've been told that Labak has been killed, um, and that apparently Nagenda, where she is, she's securing a danger beast for their escape. Go figure on that, but that's basically what occurs. And logistically, I like what's going on in this chapter. Because you have on one side you've got Esdith against the comet, which is kind of funny. No, I don't want to mention it's too fucking anime. <laughs> ah, yes, I'm there. With the last episode, it's kind of weird that way. And then we have Esdith in this chapter fighting a comet. Of course, you're not fighting her alone. Mine is there, and and she's helping her out. And on the other side, we've got Budo against Tatsumi with Leone helping her out. But logistically, Leone, she, it's kind of funny because, and this is only because Tatsumi's got Incursio on, the armor, and that's why it doesn't phase him. The lightning that strikes him by Budo doesn't phase him at all, but it really hurts Leone. So really, when it comes down to it, it's really a one-on-one -on -one with Budo, with Tatsumi, and then a one-on-one -on -one with Esdith and, and, and Akame. And the thing about Akame was... She was able, she would just have these crazy ass moves, just zigging and zagging with Esdith and like fighting her like bone to bone, just like bluntly. And there were like some interesting moves Esdith was pulling off, like freezing the side of her body. So when Kami went in with the nut, the sword, Muramasa, it wouldn't hit her. And it was. It was pretty back and forth. It was really surprising. Then on the other side, you got Tatsumi and Budo. And listen, Tatsumi, man? If anything that anyone should take from this chapter and the previous chapter, this is what you take. Tegus, especially Tegus, that kind of change or evolve and tegus that are based off on danger beasts especially danger beasts who supposedly are like really powerful and can evolve to a certain degree they are not to be messed with and it, it, that seems to be the theme because here you got mine you got pumpkin and it, it it basically gets strong every time she's in a pinch and here you have Tatsumi. In Curcio, it evolves. It just evolves. It just learns. It fucking learns about shit. And it'll just take what, you know, it'll just, it'll be immune to shit. And it really is fantastic to see that shit. It's just, it's just, it just bogs your mind. But the fight with Akame and Inez did, that, that one was, was pretty awesome for me to see. And then you just had Tatsumi and Budo. And Tatsumi took all Budo gave. And fucking slashed him in the back. Like, this is the general commander of the Empire. It's like this. You know, it just amazes me. And even Esdith is, is saying, oh, the only person who could make Budo this angry is Tatsumi. And he got really pissed, Budo. Yo, he was dropping lightning. I'm like, King of Lightning would be impressed. That's how massive it was. King of Lightning would be impressed with Budo. He was like, get that motherfucker on my YouTube channel. <laughs> That's what he would say. I just know, because it was, it was a massive display. Now, it's kind of funny in a way that, now, I wonder if, if Tatsumi kills Budo, I know some people are going to be like, 
Bolson. I know people are going to complain about it. But can't really complain too much. Because I know people are, might, some people might complain about Tatsumi and his Tegu and everything, but it evolved. That's how it, it, it is. Some Tegus evolve like that. If it's based off a of Danger Beast, it'll learn from battles and get stronger. And because Tatsumi witnessed as this time freeze, it was able to counter it. It was able to immune, be immune to it. Same thing with Budo. He was able to witness his lightning attacks and he was able to be immune to it. It's as simple as that. He evolved in seeing these people's abilities. So, but now, with what's going on, now Tatsumi's going to have to get his ass in gear. Because Budo is like going really crazy now. And, I mean, and it was this one part, um, the translation from Manga Stream, they say, have Budo saying, who in, who the fucking, or who the hell do you fucking think I am? Kind of stay on the line from, calm enough, from Girl Khan, but they added that line. But, this chapter was good, because... You see the growth, if you will, of Kame and Tatsumi as they're fighting these two commanders. Now, I wonder where this is going to lead us down the road. Now, people have been talking. Sir, I, I, I saw a few videos on YouTube from, I think, um, Chibi and Panda. They're saying, final arc of a comic. Listen, it isn't. The only way this can be the final part of a Kamiya Kiru is if this happens. They fight, okay, they're fighting Budo right now and they're fighting Akame. Okay, let's say Budo gets defeated and he dies or what, what have you. The only way this can be the final arc <coughs> is if the Rebellion Army gets involved and they defeat the, the the Prime Minister. That's the only way. If they don't do that, it's not the final arc. You know, it's it's as simple as that. Cause that that's the root that's the root of the evil of the of the capital. It's the fucking Prime Minister. It's as simple as that. The 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 Emperor is not even when you look at the Emperor, he's just a kid. And he's just being told everything by the Prime Minister, like yeah, do this, do that, you know? So, unless the Prime Minister is involved in this arc greatly, and there's like a showdown with him, this is not the final arc. At least from my point of view, it's not. And besides, what were we at? Chapter 55? Come on. If it is, then that, that, that's, that's insane. It ended in 70, 80 chapters. But, um... Yeah, those are my thoughts on that. I still think there's still more to do before we can close the book on Akamigakiru. There's still a lot more to explore. But as far as this fight is concerned, I don't think Ezra's going to lose to Akame. I really don't. Um, it will take a good amount to defeat her. I mean, if, if Akame is able to kill her with her sword, attack her with her sword and slash her, then I could say maybe. But it still hasn't gotten to that part. But just seeing Tatsumi, the way he looks now, when you really think about it, and this is the last thing I want to mention, when you compare Tatsumi, what he looks like now, to when he first got in Curcio, it is like a complete and utter metamorphosis. Literally. Complete and utter metamorphosis. He's going up against the com general commander of the capital. And he just slashed this guy in the back. That blows my mind. That really blows my mind. So, should be an interesting fight. I'm, I'm thinking next chapter. Budo is definitely going to counter it. He's going to do some crazy-ass motherfucking lightning attack that's really going to hurt Tatsumi. And we'll see if Tatsumi can bounce back and defeat Budo. Budo. We'll see. We'll see. But overall, rating-wise, I give it a 4.5 out of 5. Um... But next week, I'm going to be really crucial about it because I want to see, like, what will transpire. 
what will happen between this fight between Budo and Tatsumi. Can Tatsumi come out um, without, with, with whatever, whatever counterattack that Commander uh, Budo does? Can Tatsumi come out and just say, nip it in the bud? So we'll see. I'm Bonkai Night 22. See you guys later. Damn. The shit Budo was doing in this chapter. He's just like full ass, like full ass. Black lightning. Multiple lightning strikes from the fucking sky. This guy is OP as fuck. He's pissed. Can't wait for next week. Next month. I'll see you guys later.